Welcome back to the channel, guys. My name is Ardil, and today we're actually on the road. We're in a VW ID3, a fully electric vehicle. But what are we actually doing? Something we get asked quite a lot: Does a custom sound system or a stock look sound system actually affect the range on a fully electric vehicle? Obviously, range is such an important thing on electric cars. The range isn't amazing. I mean, the ID3 claims to do about 260 mile range, which isn't a lot. So you don't really want to be reducing that. However, these cars and like most electric cars have massive road noise and also they sound absolutely awful. I mean, this car in particular, all it has in it, it's quite a big car, all it has is a tweeter on top of the dashboard in an A-pillar and a six and a half inch mid-base in the door. And that is absolutely it. There's nothing else in the car. There's no rear speakers, there's grills for them, but there's nothing behind there. And for a set of fronts, they've done okay actually for making them sound pretty average. Have a listen. For me, sat inside the car listening to it, the treble and those higher frequencies, just basically muffled is probably the way I'd sum it up. And what we're gonna be doing is obviously upgrading that component inside there, the new tweeters, and that's gonna make a massive difference to the clarity and helping everything sound really nice. The mid bass does kick okay at the moment, but we're gonna be changing the amplifier, which gives a load more power to those doors and those speakers. That's gonna increase that kick way, way beyond what this factory system is offering. So we're gonna be fixing that on this car. So we're gonna be soundproofing it, upgrading the speakers, adding amplification, adding some bass in without affecting the range. So stay tuned right to the very end guys and we'll walk you through the entire journey. To start with, we removed the door card and paneling to uncover this, the factory speaker with no soundproofing. Firstly, look at the design and quality. The factory speakers are a little plastic and they have a paper cone design, which are very fragile and never gonna give you any mid bass transfer. While the Audison ones have a metal structure and they're made from the best quality materials, as you can see here, they look absolutely incredible. Moving to power, the stock speakers have only 20 watts of power at peak, while the Audison speaker has a massive 330 watts of power at peak which not only helps with volume, but clarity and accuracy throughout the entire frequency range. And as for the price, it's well worth it. This specific mid bass only costs £129 for the pair. Then we're gonna have a four channel amplifier. It's gonna provide us with way more power than the stock head unit, and it's going to power the whole system for us. It's now time to install the new mid bass into the vehicle, but that is no easy task. We 3D print adapters to make sure everything is fully reversible and no damage is done behind the scenes. Then it's making sure the amplifier is all nice and safe and set up correctly, sonically, but also mathematically as well. Then it's on to trimming, making sure everything looks absolutely incredible for the final result. This is the final result, a perfect blend of amazing products and retained storage, plus a new floor can cover all of this and hide it all away. It's time for the sound test. Grab your headphones if you don't already have them and enjoy. controlled here.
So I think the big thing for me, I mean, a lot of people will, this is a little battle of uh, cardio experts, but for me, I really like rear speakers. I think it gives you kind of that surround sound effect and kind of just kind of fills the car a lot more. And this car, literally all it came with were front speakers. I mean, this is a 40, 40 odd grand car. It had a two-way front end, it had a tweeter and a really, really cheap mid-base uh, in the door. I can't even really call it a mid-base. It was basically a bit of paper flapping around in the door. The sub though, I mean, before the car was massively lacking in base. Uh, so yeah, adding that sub in and hearing the difference in the car while driving, yeah, a, su a sub is always there. It needs to, it needs to be there in a system. Uh, and really happy with the results of this. I mean, this is a 10 inch sub that we've added into a car, but you can't see it. There's nothing on display, which is the nice thing. You've still got all your luggage space, uh, which is probably one of the best things about the system. You can't, can't tell it's in here, but just means it's an enjoyable experience when you're driving down the road. You've got far more clarity in the system, plus depth of sound and that full surround. So yeah, overall, really, really good. But let's play a little bit of a song with a bit more bass into it uh, to really show off that sub. Cool, right, let's play this. controlled like <laughs> so you got the clarity there and then you got our depth it's just spot on so we're now going to try measure the actual kind of overall road noise or noise in the car uh, so we'll be a little bit silent and uh, just trying to get an accurate measurement. So we're doing 60 miles an hour uh, on the speedo, exactly what we did before. Uh, so we're going to join, we've got a bit of open road, which is quite nice. So what we're going to do is now pull up that decibel meter and see what road noise we actually have here. So I'm going to be quiet now for a few minutes, which is difficult for me, but I'm going to try. Bear in mind, this is the same road that we did the test on before, and uh, I don't know what the figures are exactly, but hopefully you've seen a difference there. So sandproofing is great at reducing road noise, but that's only one of the benefits of it. The other main benefit is getting rid of rattles and resonations inside a door, and also actually just building a better environment for a system to work in. So inside a door, you kind of got three layers, right? Where you've got the, you've got the door card itself, so we sandproof the back of that, the central layer, which actually holds the speaker itself pretty much. Then you've got the back of the door skin itself. So then the three areas that get covered with soundproofing, generally depending on how much soundproofing we're adding into a car. All those three areas are really important because the speaker plays backwards and forwards. The sound waves are bouncing around all the way inside that door and they need to make their way into the vehicle. And obviously you're investing into a new system. So if you're looking into having a system done, you're putting the investment, yes, into the speakers, yes, into the amplifiers, into the install, the whole lot. But soundproofing is something that does get overlooked a lot. So that's why soundproofing is so important. We add that in, it basically really enhances the investment into your speakers and pushes that sound into the vehicles. You're not losing it, going out into playing into the world. It's all about you, the listening experience for you inside the vehicle. Plus with that road noise reduction, it's quite nice as well. It's a nice little added benefit. So yeah, overall, I'm really happy with the final results. Thank you so much for watching today's video. I really hope you've enjoyed it and learned a little bit more about upgrading an electric car. Obviously, as you've seen, it can be done. No loss of range whatsoever, which is really nice. No loss of boot space, adding rear speakers, adding a sub, adding amplification, 
and just making the whole in experience of electric car ownership so much more enjoyable. Obviously, we do loads and loads of different systems. We've actually got a whole page designated to electric car audio on our website, so make sure you go check that out. But the really cool thing that we've just finished designing is basically packages for pretty much every single car on the market, whether that be electric or non-electric. There are some cars that we haven't got on there, so if you are interested in owning one of them cars, feel free to get in touch with us and we'll happily uh, draw up some systems for you. And remember, all our systems are fully reversible. The system like this, it can come out, go back to stock, no damage done behind the scenes because we 3D printed those adapters. Then what happens is that kit just moves to the next car and you will always have a great sounding Cambridge Car Audio car. So thank you so much for watching today's video. I hope you've enjoyed it. Smash that subscribe button and we'll see you on the next one.